Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back. Today I've got these branches with LED lights. Okay, you can see right there, there's a LED light. And they're bright white LED lights. There's 10 uh, on each one. There's 10 here and 10 here, so that's 20 total. These came with a connector, a battery connector, and uh, they used uh, three AA batteries, so that's four and a half volts. And that's all they had was a, a a battery compartment and a switch to turn it on and off. There was no circuitry, uh, no current limiting. So I think these are all in parallel because for them to run off four and a half volts, I don't see how they would be able to do that if they were in series. So perhaps they have a current limiting resistor on each LED inside here that's not visible. Uh, but all I know is they ran on three AA batteries, so four and a half volts, and there was just an on off switch, no circuitry. So, what I want to do here is uh, I want to use this 18650 lithium cell to run these, and I want to uh, create a circuit where there's a momentary switch. Okay, so I would, I would basically connect them to this, push the switch. And it'll turn them on and it'll be connected to a 555 timer so they can turn off later, right? So the, the timer would be like a delay off timer. So you basically push the button and they stay on for like four or five hours and then they shut off automatically, okay? And that's what I'm going to do here today. That's the circuit we're going to create. Uh, so for starters, let's see. Let's see if I hook these up to this battery. Let's see what happens. And which side? I don't know which side's positive, so we'll have to try both. Okay, it's not that side. Let's do this. Let's see if it's this side here. Let's see if they work first of all. Okay, there we go. All right. So yeah, they work off this battery. So this is uh, this battery is off a uh, Dyson vacuum cleaner. Okay, it's just, the battery is still good. I believe it's 2200 milliamp hour, so it should be fine. It's better than, you know, it'll, it'll last longer than the three double A's. It's 4.2 volts, so the three double A's were 4.5 volts, so this is a little less, but it should be fine. Uh, now, the thing we have to check is the current that's, uh, that these are drawing. So let me get my meter, and uh, we'll, we'll connect them here and see what kind of current they're drawing. All right, so the magnet... The magnet is holding the positive, uh, the wire to the positive side of the battery. And we will put the negative side of the LEDs here. And then we will connect this here, and that'll give us the current. It's around 300 milliamps, I would say. So I don't know. I, I don't know if they're doing any current limiting inside the LEDs. Maybe there's a little resistor in there. I don't know. But it seems to be sticking around 300 milliamps, so, and that'll be fine. That'll work, okay? So let's uh, let's create the circuit to turn this thing uh, on and make it shut off automatically. All right, before we do anything, let's let's see what this battery is. Let's see what the battery is charged at. All right, 4.13 volts. Okay, so I think what I'm gonna do is. Uh, I'm going to let this thing run on the battery for about an hour and let's see what it does. Let's see if the voltage drops. Uh, I think these are 2200 milliamp hour batteries, something like that. And it's drawing 300 milliamps. So let's see. It's 4.13 volts. Let's see what happens in about an hour uh, after this runs for an hour. So let me, uh, let me hook it up to the lights and we'll just uh, let it run. All right, I got the battery hooked up using the magnets okay and uh, we'll just let it run for an hour and uh, we'll see if the battery goes down a lot so I'll be back in one hour to check up on this all right guys it's been about an hour and let's see yeah the battery is nice and cool the lights the lights are surprisingly cool. I thought they would be a little warm at least, but they're not. 
Okay, so let's uh, let's stop this and let's see what the battery measures. Let's see if the voltage dropped by a lot. Oh yeah, that is a big drop. Yeah, so we dropped, you know, some voltage there. So what I'm gonna have to do is uh, limit the current because uh, let's see, these are drawing just around 300 milliamps. I think we can get by with, uh, let's see, 20 LEDs. We can get by with uh, probably 200 milliamps. So we gotta find a way to limit uh, the current. So we're gonna design a circuit that's gonna have a push button momentary switch that'll turn them on and shut them off after five hours, okay? And while they're on, we're gonna limit the current to 200 milliamps, okay? So let's uh, let's get working on that. All right, guys, so here's what I have so far in uh, KeyCAD. I put a 555 timer on the schematic along with uh, an LED that really represents our 20 LEDs uh, right here, okay? I have uh, 3.8 volts for VCC. That's the battery voltage. Uh, and it's going to go between, you know, 3.4 and 4.2 around there. Uh, but let's just say it's 3.8. I have a momentary switch, okay, and a pull-up resistor pulling this pin up. All right, there's different ways to use this uh, 555 timer. We're going to use it in uh, monostable mode. And uh, what that means is uh, we're going to trigger it and it's going to turn on for a certain amount of time. Pin 2 right here is the trigger pin. That gets pulled up to VCC, okay? When we push the switch here, it pulls the trigger pin down to ground, and that's what triggers this whole thing to turn on. And when that happens, what's going to happen is your VCC will go out of pin 3 right here to light up the LEDs, okay? This is a, a momentary switch, so as soon as we push it, it's going to go off again. So this will get pulled back up. But the 3.8 volts will stay here uh, for a predetermined time. And the next step is to figure out what that time is. And uh, we do that by hooking up a capacitor and a resistor on uh, pin uh, 6 and uh, 7. Okay, so let's do that next. All right, guys, so I added a resistor here. Uh, 47k and a 470 microfarad capacitor uh, from pin 6 and 7 to ground. Now the resistor goes to uh, the voltage, the VCC, 3.8 volts. All right, And you can use this formula uh, right here to figure out what your time delay will be, and that's in seconds. So 47k right here times 470 microfarads okay times 1.1 and you're gonna get 23 seconds so what that means is when we push the switch that triggers it and then this 3.8 volts will light up the LED for 23 seconds okay now I said earlier I wanna light this up for four or five hours so I'm gonna have to figure out what values I need to put here uh, to make it last for four or five hours, okay? Because right now it's only 23 seconds, all right? Uh, we'll figure that out later though, okay? The way this is set up now, it's not it's not that good. Uh, and let me tell you why. Uh, there's a couple of things here. First of all, uh, the 555 timer may or may not work with 3.8 volts, okay? You have to use the 7555, which is the CMOS version. And that's designed to work with uh, two volts on VCC so that's the first thing we're, we're not going to use a regular 555 we're going to use the the CMOS version uh, the other thing is the 555 timer can only put out up to 200 milliamps on the output right and we measured the LED uh, the current for the LEDs is around 300 milliamps and I said I'm gonna try to limit it to 200 milliamps but even if I did that uh, you're you're gonna have the maximum current coming out of this 555 timer uh, for four or five hours, and uh, I don't know. That's a little that's pushing it. So what we need to do then is uh, put a transistor here, okay? And that way the 
555 timer would turn on the transistor and the transistor would turn on the LEDs, okay? And we need to get a transistor that can handle a, a higher current. So I think I'm going to use the 2N2222 transistor uh, because that can handle 600 milliamps uh, and that's more than enough. So let me put that in here and we'll take it from there. All right, guys, let's see what I did here. Um, so first of all, I put a transistor here, okay, with a base resistor of 1K. Now, what's going to happen is you're not going to have maximum current coming out of here, okay, out of the 555. You're only going to have like 1 milliamp or 2. Uh, so that's going to turn this on, and then you're going to get the two or 300 milliamps flowing through this transistor because uh, the top of the LEDs are connected to VCC 3.8 volts and when this turns on it'll connect the ground and that's when current's going to flow so but this transistor can handle up to 600 milliamps so that's fine we have no no problem there the other thing I did is I changed this uh, 47k resistor to a 100k resistor uh, 100k uh, potentiometer rather so i can adjust the time constant and uh, i think in the end i'm gonna wind up making this like a 2 meg uh, potentiometer and like a 4700 microfarad capacitor okay so you know I, I want it to be on for like four or five hours so uh let's see what else i didn't put a uh an emitter resistor here because I can't afford to have a voltage drop down here. I got to have the full uh, voltage at the LEDs. That would introduce a voltage drop, and that's not doable. So I wasn't able to do that. But I think it'll work just fine. Now, as far as limiting the current, I think uh, we have to test this out on the breadboard and uh, measure the current here. And if it's uh, too high... Uh, we could just increase the base resistor and that should lower the collector current. Uh, so we could, you know, mess around with this until we get 200 milliamps uh, through the LED and uh, that should be good. All right, guys, one thing I forgot to mention here and uh, I had to uh, re-upload the video because uh, YouTube won't allow me to make edits. I'm using a lithium ion battery here and with lithium ion, you, you really shouldn't let it go down below two and a half volts okay and what's going to happen here is this uh 555 timer that i'm using can go uh work with uh two volts vcc right so it'll keep working until the battery drops to two volts and that's not really good for the battery uh it could shorten the life of the battery okay so you're really not supposed to let it go below two and a half volts now I've let them go down to one volt before and I've never had a problem, but technically you're not supposed to let them go below two and a half volts. So what you can do to prevent that if you're using this exact same circuit with one battery, uh, now I'm not going to do this, but what you could do is you could put a diode right here, okay, between the battery voltage and the VCC of the 555 timer. And what that'll do is that'll drop 0.7 volts. So when this battery voltage goes below 2.7 you're going to have 0.7 across the diode and you're going to have two or less here so it's going to turn turn the whole thing off and stop draining the battery so your battery voltage will go down to 2.7 which is that should be fine you shouldn't have any problems with that so that's one way to to do that now if you're using any other kind of battery besides the lithium ion then it really doesn't matter you can just let it go all the way down uh, but with lithium ion, you should try to uh, prevent uh, it from discharging past uh, two and a half volts, or else you, you could uh, eventually uh, damage the battery. So that's one way to do it. But I'm I'm not going to do it here. Okay, I'm just going to let it go because uh, I'm just going to keep an eye on the lights. And when I see, when I see them getting dim, I'm just going to charge my battery on my uh, lithium ion battery charger that I have. All right, I've got this set up on the breadboard. And here's the 555 timer. And yeah, I know it's a mess. I've got wires all over the place. But here's the transistor. Okay, and then I've got uh, the base resistor is right here. And I put a potentiometer that's set to uh, around 47K right now. Okay, 
and that's going to control the timing this and the capacitor okay and uh like i said the base resistor is uh i made it 1.5k okay we'll start with that and then this resistor here is a 10k that pulls the trigger up to power now i don't have a switch on here yet so what i'm going to do is uh I'm just going to take this okay and touch it to the pin 2 to trigger it cuz this this is connected to to ground so that'll trigger it okay all right, so I'm hooked up to my power supply and I got it at 4.2 volts, okay? And it's going to show me uh, right here how much current it's going to draw. So that's why I've got it on the power supply instead of the battery, okay? All right, now when I touch ground to pin 2, everything should go on, okay? And there it goes. It should stay on for 23 seconds. And here is the current. 208 milliamps at 4.2 volts okay uh let's see i think they got like eight more seconds left they should go off any second now there they go okay all right so that worked um 470 microfarad uh the potentiometer set to 47k they were on for about 23 seconds and it drew 200 milliamps okay that's good now what i'm gonna do is uh I'm going to lower the voltage. I'm going to go down to, uh, let's see, I'll go down to like uh, 3.6, okay? And let's see what happens. Let's see if the, you know, if the battery voltage drops, let's see if it's still going to work, okay? So let me get this thing here and turn it back on again. Okay, it worked. It's on. And let's see what current is drawing now. 146 milliamps. Let's see if I go even lower, what will happen. Okay, I'm at 120 milliamps at 3.4 volts. And uh, let's see, will it go on? Yes, it will. It's about 100 milliamps. All right, so I, you know what? I think we can go even lower on this current. So let me uh, let me change that base resistor to a higher value. All right, guys. So I put in a three point three k resistor. I basically almost uh, I, I more than doubled it actually. It was one point five. I put in a three point three k base resistor. All right. So let's see what happens now. I'm I'm back up to uh, four point two volts, and I'm gonna turn it on, and let's see. If it goes below 200 milliamps now, it should. Okay, lights are on. Okay. And look at that. 125 milliamps at 4.2 volts. That's pretty good. That's pretty low. Let me uh, lower the voltage. Let's go down to 3.6. Okay. And let's see what we get. Lights are on. 88 milliamps. That's more like it. Go down even further. 3.4. Lights are still running. And we're at 76 milliamps. Look at that. So I think the 3.3K resistor is better. So it'll uh, the, the battery will last longer because... At maximum voltage, it was only drawing, what, around 120 milliamps? I forgot what it was. Let's try it again. Go to maximum voltage. Okay, what's it drawing? Yeah, 123 milliamps. Okay. Well, there you go. That's, uh, that's pretty good. So that's it. It works fine with a 3.3K resistor. So the maximum current it's going to draw is 120 milliamps, so that battery should last a pretty long time. It should be fine, okay? All right, guys, and the only thing I have to do now is uh, adjust my timing to make it last for a few hours so it stays on. So I'll do that off camera, and uh, I'll end the video right here, okay? Thanks for watching.